I'm sure all of you have heard this story about um, dissecting a frog. You know, you're, you're dissecting the frog to see how it works, but when you're done, it's, it's not a frog anymore. If we start dissecting ourselves for how much we got, how many quarts of masculine and how many quarts of feminine we got, and what those look like, like what's, um, what does it look in your culture and what does it look like in another culture? Because quite honestly, if you go to Africa, how women are in Africa is different than how they are in the United States, especially in um, Western Africa and Eastern Africa, not so much South Africa and North Africa because they are a little more developed. But even in North Africa, where the religion and the culture is so restricting, it's very hard to be a woman in where you, you can't show anything but your eyes. And you also can be accused of being disloyal and be killed because the hu husband or the brother has a right to do that. Masculinity. No, not really. But that's how it's been interpreted. And as many of you know, those of you who are in my generation, um, there, it wasn't that long ago, let's see, 60 years ago, maybe 50, 60 years ago, that women couldn't even own a house. They couldn't have a checking account without a man co-signing. I'm just, I'm only naming it as we've had cultures teaching us how it should be and what we're in the process of is learning how it is. And the only way you're going to learn how it is is to allow yourself to be at the headwaters. Because when I receive it, um, I'm responsible for it to come through this capacity, and you're responsible for it to come through you. And then there's the co-creation of doing it together. Complementation, support, inspiration, welcome, nourishment. It's not about looking the same. My mother used to say to me, um, when I wasn't Sassener, um, you're just like the Anatrinis. And I thought, well, I am one. <laughs> but what she was saying was, you're just like your father. <laughs> and so if we start sorting out, well, what part of me is are from, uh, what part of me is from my dad, what part of me is from my mom, and am I supposed to be embarrassed for the parts that are like my dad? Am I supposed to be embarrassed for the parts that are like my mother? We were raised to think like that. I know several of you who have shared stories with me about unhealthy relationships with your parents. And then you realize some of that's right in you. You inherited some of that stuff. And not just the personality stuff, but the, the, physically, you start looking like your parents. And then you think, I don't want to be like them. And then you start judging yourself. So my invitation today, and hopefully every day, is to be kind to yourself, be loving to yourself, and realize that the universe is a frequency, and the universe is another name for God. It's a frequency that is, what, that is animating us already, so it doesn't, we don't have to go looking for it. 